All right, I'm live again. Yes, <clears throat> and my hair's exploded and gone mad, madder. So, um, hello, and we've got everything today. We've got shadows, we've got uh, hair exploding, and <clears throat> you've also got Jason from septictank.co.uk. So, we're live, and I'm going to continue um, aren't this answering your questions in this live broadcast of mine, right? So let me just let me just get this light out of my eyes. Oh, I got a light there right in my eyes. Oh, that's better. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot better. I don't know why I got a light in my eyes. I thought it was a bit bright, you know. Anyway, look. <clears throat> so here I am. <clears throat> so. My name is Jason from septictank.co.uk. So if you want a septic tank, if you want free septic tank advice, then I'm your man. Okay, so I'm going to answer some of your questions this morning before I crack on to work. And there we go. Okay, so thank you very much for all your questions about septic tanks, by the way. I love them. Keep them coming. Now, people are asking me <coughs> what size dog poop septic tanks do you do? Uh, that's a very good question. So what I'm going to try and do here, I can put the dimensions of them on there. But what I thought I'd try and do is just give you a rough idea of how big they are. So let's say, <laughs> how's that for professional? <laughs> All right, but the point is, look, <clears throat> if we pretend that's your garden, and that's you, probably a lot better looking than that. <laughs> but, right, let me show you roughly the size of these dog poop septic tanks, right, and how easy they are to, um, to carry, to lift, they're not going to clog your garden up, they're not going to make your garden look ugly, because I've designed these dog poop septic tanks really nicely, okay? So, the first one, I suppose, is that size, okay? So, just giving you rough, rough estimate here, so you can see the size of it in relation to you, and your garden all right so if you're wondering what that black thing is that's the vent here's the soak away pipe and it goes into you into your couple of inches into the garden like that or if you've just got a tarmac yard it goes on some bricks and the soak away pipe can go into a plant pot full of um you know, compost stuff like that all right so that's 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 large That's large, okay? A large will do one to two dogs, okay? A large will do one to two dogs. Now, you can see how the garden is sloping down that way. So, I don't know why it's sloping down that way. But anyway, so this is dog poop container number two. Dog poop septic tank, right? It's too early in the morning. Dog poop septic tank. So that's large. So dog poop septic tank number two is extra large right so this is extra large okay so extra large all right and that will do three to five dogs <clears throat> look at that so again it's exactly the same but it's bigger it's much, much bigger. Well, it's not much, much bigger, but it's big enough to accommodate an extra three dogs, right? And again, you've got your little soak away there. And this is adjustable, by the way. I mean, I think I supply, it's something like two or three foot in length, the soak away pipe is. And um, yeah, you don't have to have it going into the garden, but honestly, just a trowel, just a little trowel, little dig out with the trowel, and then um, just put the pipe in and cover it with some soil, 
and that's it so then so that will do three to five dogs one to two dogs and then we do the cube dog poop septic tank now the cube is amazing it really is amazing how much room have i got on there okay so the cube septic tank is that size and it's a beautiful black tank all right and i say it's beautiful because it is beautiful um and i sell these two uh lots of dog kennel places and again exactly works exactly the same principle and that cube will do flipping heck i reckon it will do so i call that the the cube dog poop dog poop septic tank right and that cube with dog poop septic tank will do oh i reckon comfortably right about one to 35 dogs <clears throat> there you go so those are basically um uh the three types how much room have i got there okay i've got some room so three types in fact i won't even put types because they're all dog poop septic tanks i'm going to actually put on there three sizes three sizes all right three sizes of dog poop uh septic tanks there you go look at that so if you've got one dog excuse me a sec my rubber my eraser fell on the floor so look if you've got dogs right if you've got one to two dogs then the large is ideal for you if you've got three to five dogs and when i say dogs obviously they can be poodles or anything like that but i'm talking labrador size so if i say labrador size then that roughly gives you an idea of um the kind of poop that you can put in there you can put any poop in there all right so the large will do one to two dogs extra large will do three to five dogs and if you're a real dog owner and a dog lover and you love dogs and it's your business or i don't know you just like lots of dogs running around and you can go for the cube all right tank and um there you go so those are the um my beautiful dog poop septic tanks you wouldn't believe that someone could get so excited about septic tanks would you but i love septic tanks because why do i love them because right they I, in fact i'm gonna put it in blue right green let's try blue because it dissolves dog poop so all three of these, right, dissolve dog poop naturally, cleanly, safely, organically, and odorlessly, right? There's no smells with them because um, I've invented them that way, all right? I've made them that way, all right? They took me about, I've been doing septic tanks, you probably know you hear this all the time, I've been doing septic tanks for about 20 years, right? for houses normally domestic ones for human beings but uh my wife and i about um I don't know, six months ago actually came up with the idea to make a dog poop septic tank that actually dissolved dog poo and turned it right get this right not only dissolves dog poo but it turns it it converts it into safe clean um liquid uh fertilizer right that you can put on your garden or go straight into your grass i'm not kidding this stuff's amazing this is why i'm so passionate about it right i just wish everyone had a dog poop container i mean normally right i get up in the morning or i come home late at work late late at work late at night right i get my little dog poop bag and put it on my hand or i get my little dog poop glove and pick it up and I don't know, put it in the bag and tie it up and put it there ready to dispose of it in a doggy bin or I get a doggy bin that I 
collect all the dog poop bags in and I got him or I went on Amazon and I bought one of those dog doggy things and and um, and half bury it in the ground and put the dog poop in there and then it starts to overflow and it stinks because it is just a bin right there's no dog poop septic tank out there there are they are just bins right so that is the different sizes and models and shapes of my dog poop septic tank so let me show you quickly how it works right I've probably shown you this already but let me just show you how the dog poop septic tank works now oh, my razor is running out of water oh all right okay so let me show you how this works right so let's say this is i'm going to try and draw this straight today so let's say this is your dog poop septic tank here. How does that look? Oh, I'm terrible at drawing. <laughs> you can see why I'm not an artist, yeah? Now, okay, so this is your dog poop septic tank here, right? It looks a lot better in the flesh than it does the way I'm drawing it. Okay, but anyway, I'm only showing you how it works. Okay, so this is on your lawn, this is on your garden, right? And so it's got a vent up here. Let me do this for you, right? All right, so I'll tell you about that vent in a minute. So it's got a special vent there, and it's also got a childproof lid. In fact, I'm gonna write this, look. I'm gonna put childproof lid, and I've got air filter. All right, so there you go. So straight away, right, you see the thought and design that's gone into this, can't you? I've got an air filter on it, right, an air filter on a septic tank, yeah. And I got a child-proof lid, okay? So, so let's say uh, this is your dog poop. I know it would, not, not, it would normally be brown. If your dog's pooping black dog poop, then I take him to the vet, right? But, right, this is your dog poop, right? There you go. Okay, so there's your dog poop. Typical kind of Labrador uh, dog poop. I know, you know, because I've had dogs. Okay, so you get your dog poop, so you pick it up in your poopy scoop or with some kind of bag over your hand, you know. And then you take your childproof lid off, you lift it up, and then you drop your dog poop in. Now, this is where the magic starts to happen, right? Inside the dog poop septic tank. Oh, oh man, I've created this, like, organic ecosystem inside, right? So inside your dog poop septic tank is an organic ecosystem. So let me show you the magic of how this ecosystem works, right? So <clears throat> up to about a third way up the tank, I've created a sump, an organic sump that consists of pipes, of membrane, and a magic special ingredient, right? So the dog poop lands on here. All right, so that's the dog poop. All right. All right, so there you go. So you can tell I've had lots of experience with dog poop, can't you? Looks quite real, doesn't it? Anyway, okay, so that's the dog poop, and it's landed, so it's you've dropped it in, and it's landed on top of this special sump. So there's obviously um, <clears throat> like a plate, a special organic membrane kind of plate. All right, now, this, I'm going to show you the secret ingredient. Not many chefs show you the secret ingredient, but this is the key to why it works so well, right? Because inside it are organic worms. Now, these aren't just any kind of worms, right? In, in the UK, there are about 150 species of worms these aren't earthworms right and um and 
I used to live in a place called Shropshire, and um, my dad and mum used to have a septic tank down the garden, right? I used to sneak down there and I'd lift the lid, and oh man, it'd be something like out of being quarter mass in the pit or something. There's like this heaving mass of stuff in there. Anyway, there were worms, right? It used to scare scare me really, really badly, right? But dad used to put his hand in and take all these worms out and take them fishing with him. Anyway, the point I'm making is, Right. Our septic tanks, the worms used to eat everything. And if you think about it, it's logical because worms eat everything. They even eat, they'll eat me when I'm gone, dead and gone. They eat everything, right? And so I breed these, have these, these worms, especially bread, right? And these worms, right, they will eat and consume and digest all the the dog poop and they break it down right so they eat all the dog poop and they break it down into and this is where the magic really happens right they break it down into safe clean organic liquid fertilizer so they break it down and the liquid fertilizer drains down through the organic membrane into the bottom here so this is clean, odorless liquid, okay? Fertilizer, like that, okay? And then here is your soak away. And uh, in fact, I've done that slightly bit too long, but you get, with, with each dog poop septic tank, you get a soak away pipe with it. Okay, and you can trim it down. You can trim it down to whatever size you want. But the point being is, it just goes into the first couple of inches of your of your topsoil. And there, look at that. And then it goes into there. And then the liquid, the organic liquid comes out of there and then drips into your soil. And so say this was a little hole look that you've dug with your trowel, take you uh, 30 seconds to dig something like that. And then all the organic liquid goes into this and fills up this little hole here, little pit, and then just drains away naturally into the soil. If you've got a dog poop septic tank and it's in a yard, then don't worry because all that you do is put it on some bricks and obviously this would be higher off the ground so say this is your ground level and then you can have it actually going into a plant pot filled with some compost something like that yeah so that's how the dog poop septic tank works and um smells you're gonna ask me about smells now i know you're gonna ask me about smells but this was one of the biggest worries and concerns i had was smells right and, um, but let me show you how the dog poop septic tank deals with smells. In fact, it kills smells, it destroys smells. It just makes them disappear. It smells, the dog poop septic tank will make your garden smell like a beautiful day, right? And how does that work? Okay, so let's give you an extreme. Let's pretend it's summer, right? Let's pretend it's summer. Oh man, and the dog poop septic tank is hot, right? But just on the, um, while we're dealing with that matter, uh, it's in a special container, so whether it's hot, it's winter time, it's snowing, it's cold, frost, or it's really, really hot, the worms will survive in the dog poop septic tank. They'll survive nicely because I've designed it in such a way that they're insulated from the cold and they're insulated from the heat, all right, so the worms will survive in whatever weather conditions we've got. Right, so let's pretend it's really hot and the dog poop is stinking. All right, let's pretend the smells are rising. Okay, so that's the smells in there. But as soon as they hit this special air filter, right, it filters the air, oh, the smelly air, it filters that and just turns it into natural, non-odorless, non-smelling air. So if you're walking in the garden 
You know, oh, it's a lovely day. You're not going to smell your, your dog poop septic tank. You know, in fact, you'll probably even forget it's there. Uh, the only way you'll know it's there is when you kind of wake up in the morning and put the dog poop in and put the dog poop out at night. That's probably the only thought you'd give to it. Plus, right, because you're putting organic um, liquid fertilizer in to your garden, you'll probably notice that there's loads of uh, flowers and vegetables and stuff like that growing around where that liquid, organic liquid fertilizer is um, is going into the ground. So that'll probably give you some clue of how good the system is. But anyway, look, that's the dog poop septic tank. And um, if you want to know more about the dog poop septic tank, you can go directly to dogpoopseptictank.com. Dog poop. In fact, if I write it down for you, what's this? Dog poop septic tank dot com. There you go. It says what it does on the tin. So if you want to see the dog poop septic tank in action, go to dog poop septic tank dot com. Or if you're still undecided and you're like, who is this guy? I like the idea of the dog poop septic tank, but I don't know you, mister, and um, you could be a con man trying to con me out of my money. Well, that's fair enough, but, you know, I'm going a long way to try and <laughs> convince someone to buy something that, um, you know, there's too much love and there's too much passion in what I'm doing and in what I'm saying, you know, if you don't buy it, you don't buy it. I don't mind. I've been doing this 20 years. I, you know, whether people buy my septic dog poop septic tank or they don't buy it, I still love septic tanks. I still love, you know, doing what I do. So this is for real. I'm for real, right? And so don't worry. If you want to know more about me and who I am, then just go to septic tank. .co.uk, right? Then you'll see. I'm the real deal, baby. I am. I'm the real deal, right? As I said, I've been doing this 20 years. I do septic tanks up and down the country, or did do them up and down the country. I normally consult now more than I drive around the country. But if you want to see who I am and see, I don't know, my record of and videos and my products and see loads of broadcasts, recorded broadcasts and see lots of Q&As and stuff like that, they go to septictank.co.uk, which hopefully will instill in you, right, um, evidence, I don't know, testimonials, whatever it is, to show you that uh, I, I am real, and this is one of my inventions, and the dog poop septic tank can really help you. And, um, you know, this is the real thing. This isn't just a dream. This is the reality, you know. This isn't some sales pitch. This is just me trying to help people dissolve and get rid of their dog poop. That's all it is, right? There's no other reason I'm doing this. This is, you know, I'm sure I could dream up a better sales pitch than spending, we've been, how long has it been now? 23 minutes talking to you about how to dissolve your dog poop, you know? I suppose if I was trying to give you a sales pitch, I'd come in and say, wow, come on, you've got to buy this, you know, get it now, two for one, you're 50% off. Come on, you only got three hours to get it before the offer ends, you know? There's no sales pitch here. I'm just trying, I'm just a genuine guy. I'm a real person and um, I run a real business. I just work hard trying to earn an honest living, trying to give people honest solutions to honest problems. And that's it. And that's all you're getting here. So that's who I am. So if you like the idea of the dog poop septic tank, you want to dissolve your dog poop, then just go to dog poop septic tank, get one. It's about three to four or five days, maybe, depending on the demand for delivery. Want to find out a bit more about me, go to septictank.co.uk. Maybe you don't want the dog poop septic tank, but you want a normal septic tank, right? If you want a normal septic tank for your house, then still go to septictank.co.uk. Maybe you're thinking of getting a dog, and this would be a good gift for your 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 family or your neighbours, and you know, feel free to to um, 
go to Dog Poop Septic Tank and check it out. But anyway, there you go. Listen, you've listened enough to me waffling on. You know, it's hard to do a live broadcast for 25 minutes and uh, and fill it up, you know, with stuff. I suppose I could just be quiet, but that's not the point of the broadcast. The point of the broadcast is to answer people's questions and i hope this has answered your questions or at least given you a better insight as to who i am and the products that i sell and why i sell them or why i create them why i invent them and why i do this stuff so listen thank you very very much for watching my live broadcast today for putting up with me for listening to my waffle and uh, putting up with my artistic ability and um yeah so there you go so that's my first live broadcast of the day i'm going to do another one around about ooh, about four or five o'clock so you're more than welcome to jump on board um ask me loads of questions all the questions show up on my little comment thing here and um the broadcast also is streaming live as we speak on youtube as well and um yeah just jump on board ask me your questions and i'll try and answer them and and that's it so listen have a great day if you're gonna work today if you're in a job you don't like or you do like whatever have a good day and um i'll catch you later so thank you very much for listening <laughs>